Hi guys, this is Christian from Wingsover.nl. Here we have another AK Phaser version 2. It's got 90 liters and it's a 5.6 long. Um, it's version 2 and although the version 3 actually just came out, uh, I do want to show you this board. Um, it's like, like I had a really long review on the 65 liters and I was really happy about that board because for its volume it's a really easy board. Uh, it's a little bit longer than most boards and uh, just makes them easier to start. Like the flat section on the board, like also on this 90 liter, it's really, really long and it's really easy to start. Um, they don't need a lot of uh, wind to get going um, and especially on this 90 liter because it's more volume and I'm not even 85 kilo, I'm almost 85 kilos and I don't sink with it. So uh, for me on a really low wind day this is still really easy to get, get going. Um, and if you compare to version 3 like the version 3 is gonna have some updates like on the version 2 you will have uh, some foot strap options but there's no v-strap option for example on the new board uh, apparently there will be v-strap option and um, the shape is gonna be a little bit different but not much it's gonna the shape difference will be this small that uh, Actually, if you can get your hands on the version 2, uh, like a lot of sizes are sold out, but, but this 90 liters, I think the 110 and even the 140 liters, they, they won't be sold out yet, um, but they will be cheaper. So, and that's all, that has all to do with the dollar that went up this year, and the euro or the euro going down, one, one of the others. And um, the same board, I think, will be 15% more expensive uh, if you buy a version 3. So, the version 3 will be nice, but uh, as, as there won't be a lot of difference, just have a look at version 2. It's a really stable board, it's easy to use, and most important, it's quite light. Um, if you compare it to other boards, uh, if you want a really light board, uh, I think you have to look at boards that are at least 1800 euros expensive. Um, these ones are around 14, 1500 euro, which is still a lot of money, but um, if you compare to a board that's around 11, 1200 euro, this board is really a lot lighter. And for wing foiling, uh, weight does matter, especially if you want to go. Uh, do some jumping. Um, normally I wouldn't do that with a 90 liter because it can't get really high, you know, it's really heavy under the feet. I think with this one I can get up. Um, well, I know for sure because I tried. Um, other things that are really nice on this board is uh, there's a little um, concave in the deck, so the board doesn't actually feel that thick. It's quite a, it's got a quite a direct connection to the foil, um, and um, it's got a, a self-regulating air vent. So if you're flying, if it's if it's getting hot in the car or on the beach, uh, it's self-venting, so you don't need to change anything or uh, open up anything. The board won't explode on you. Um, uh, Another really important thing for this board is the position of the, the tracks. Um, it's pretty, they are actually, compared to a lot of other brands, uh, they are uh, pretty far forward. Uh, that means if you use a K phaser foil, um, the position of the foil sort of is in the middle. Uh, but if you use uh, other foils. A lot of foils are actually um, need to go all the way to the rear um, and then you have to look out a bit because some of the, the phaser boards do have a little bit of a tail rocker and because of that um, the angle of the foil uh, is a little bit off so better to use a little shim on the bottom plate of the foil to 
to counter that. It just needs one degree or something, but it does make a difference. Um, also, um, like foils like the ones from AK, of course, uh, but also F1, um, Armstrong, they are really forward orientated. So you'll, you will have no problems for those foils to mount them on AK. Uh, other brands like uh, Slingshot, uh, Starboard, um, Access Foils, um, maybe Takuma. Um, you really need to put them really far to the rear. Otherwise, uh, especially when you're using straps, um, uh, you just have to, you can't, you can't move forward enough if you want to use straps. But also without straps, you'll feel if you, if you put the foil too much to the, to the middle, you'll be uh, sending too much to the front and you see the, the, the grip ends here and I hope you don't want to try that. Um, other than that, this board is, they are beauties. They are light. Um, the version 3, of course, uh, will have different colors, but they will still be bluish. Um, this is a reflex carbon construction. For the version 3, there will be another construction. Uh, it will be cheaper, but it will be heavier as well. And that's the biggest plus on this board, that they are lighter. And that's what you want. So, in the end, what it all comes down to is you like to have a board that is light. So, you, in order to have that, you need to spend a little bit more. Um, but with this board, not that much in comparison to other boards. And um, so if you're like 85 kilos and you can already wing foil and you're up for your next board, um, this 90 liter. It's a really nice one and uh, you'll be happy with it probably for the next year. Uh, some people, of course, they go through everything really fast. Um, get a smaller board. Um, if you're a really quick learner, um, some people after a couple of sessions, they can already wing foil and they're like, okay, I can go for a smaller board. Um, some of them might actually like if they would start normally with a 120 liter board or something and they weigh about 80, 85 kilos. Oh, if you're, if you're one of those guys that learns things really quickly um, and you're on a, on a lake and not on, on, the, on the ocean or on the sea, well, you might, con might be able to consider a 90 liter version. Um, otherwise, there's a 110 from AK. Um, for its size, it's also light. And because it's light, you'll be able to learn wing foiling much easier and quicker. So, it's you spend a little bit more, but I think it's worth it.